On this episode of App Spotlight, we're matching tiles in order to defeat vampires and other monsters in Darken. We test our reflexes in Dextrous and more. The first application that we have is Darken. Darken is a very unique take on the traditional multi-tile matching game. In Darken, you must swipe through teeth in order to attack monsters, swipe through coins to purchase upgrades, swipe moons for power-ups, and hearts to heal yourself. The game starts off relatively easy, but then gets increasingly challenging as you play, and also as you play the variety of game modes that are available as well. The real diversity comes from the excellent artwork and the variety of bosses that come into play. Some bosses can only be bribed away with coins, while others can only be attacked from below. The wide variety of bosses, game modes, and the progressive difficulty make Darken an excellent game for casual and hardcore gamers alike. The game is also 100% premium and only requires the initial download price and includes no ads or in-app purchases. Darken is definitely a great game, worth checking out. The next game that we have is Dextrous. A game that actually came out a week ago, but wouldn't fit into last episode. Dextrous is definitely an excellent endless style reflex testing game that has you maneuvering in and out of various obstacles at increasing speeds. The game itself has a good set of graphics and includes that addictive element that makes you play it again and again, seeking high scores. Similar to games like Flappy Bird and Geometry Dash, I found myself getting progressively higher and higher scores every time I played, only fueling my desire for that high score leaderboard domination. Definitely a fun free game that's worth a download. Now let's get a blast from the past with our flashback game of the week. The flashback game that we have this week is Flow Free. A game that actually recently rekindled my interest shortly after I researched it for the most addicting iPhone games ever video. Which, by the way, you should definitely watch if you haven't already, because there's some excellent games in there. Now, the app starts out with the simple premise of connecting like dots and filling in all the tiles on a game board. Soon enough, however, the board starts increasingly getting larger and larger in dimensions, creating a much more challenging layout to get right. With literally hundreds of levels available for free and then hundreds more available for small in-app purchases, the game is definitely a must-have. And I'll be honest, before I reviewed it on the Most Addicting iPhone Games video, I actually hadn't played it that much, other than here and there. But right now, I'm totally hooked. And that's why it's completely deserving of this episode's flashback game. It's definitely an excellent game that has a ton of content available for free. All right, we're going to take a quick break to tell you about two really cool giveaways we're doing right now. So we'll be right back after the break. As you probably already know, we are currently having a really cool Ibotta giveaway going on right now where we're giving away a $10 iTunes gift card for every 10 people who sign up for Ibotta and redeem at least one rebate. By the way, you'll also get an instant $2 just for redeeming the first rebate on Ibotta as well as being entered into the giveaway. I just wanted to remind everyone that the giveaway ends May 31st, and a lot of people have downloaded the app, but have not redeemed the first rebate. Remember, you have to redeem at least one rebate to enter and possibly win. For more info on this giveaway, click the annotation to be brought to my last app spotlight where I discuss it further. Now it's come to my attention that the Ibotta giveaway only works in the United States, which is why I'm going to start another really cool giveaway at the same time to open up to everyone in the world with a Facebook account. All you have to do to enter to win a $10 iTunes gift card is go to facebook.com slash appfind, like the page, and then like and share my post on the most addicting iPhone games ever video. It'll be pinned to the top of the Facebook page until the giveaway's over on May 31st. Remember, you have to publicly share the video with your friends on your wall, and that can include any caption you want, such as talking about what your favorite iPhone games are, just talking about the video in general, anything like that. This way, we get more people interested in AppFind, your friends get to learn about some really cool addicting games, and you could possibly win a $10 iTunes gift card. If we get 100 plus shares, we'll also throw in another gift card in there as well. So there you have it guys, two great opportunities to easily win a free iTunes gift card. 
iBOTA will also give you the opportunity to not only win a gift card, but also earn PayPal cash back on rebates on groceries. And sharing the video is probably something you do on Facebook anyways. Only this time, you could win. Enjoy the giveaways? All right, back to the show. Our hidden gem app this week is Super Sam Adventures. When I first was directed to the game, I was met with a very high quality, lighthearted, level based, free to play game that clearly had a lot of thought and time put into the level design. I was very surprised to learn that the app wasn't getting as much publicity, even though it had been put together so well. The game takes place with you navigating Super Sam around various obstacles in order to save the sheep and collect coins. Overall, a really fun game and a great hidden gem. Our mystery app this week is Toy Rush. Toy Rush is a fun tower defense and reverse tower defense game that features many different toy characters that all act as really cool weapons and units both in defending your base and raiding enemy bases. The way this game works, however, is very unique to others in the genre. Instead of permanently creating troops, you must constantly open different blind bag packs of troops to use in each battle. But once they're used up, they're gone. Overall, a very interesting freemium game, and I talked to the global chat and I actually met a user who bought experience boosts with real cash for a total of 805 days, which is basically forever in internet time. I sure wouldn't do that purchase myself, but if that's not a testament to how fun the game's mechanics are, then I don't know what is. It's definitely worth a try. It's available for free on the App Store. Thank you guys for watching this episode of App Spotlight. Be sure to enter those giveaways. Subscribe if you aren't already. Like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.